Not bad, huh, Ollie? Wow, from what I see, even young King David would have been no match for you. I'd really like to be something else besides just a shepherd boy. Well, maybe you will someday. Think about it. Before you could even walk, that staff just sort of helped you to push yourself along. But now your feet are as fast as the wind. Yeah, <laughs> only the wind gets to go places. All I do is get to watch our flock. Shepherd boy now, because look, there's a lion after the sheep. Whoa! Hop on, I'll give you a ride down. There, you go back to your mom and remember, no more wandering off. Well, it looks like the sheep are ready for shearing. Maybe Dad will let me take the wool into the market this year. Yeah, maybe I can help. By the looks of things, I think we'll have to get your brothers to help too. It's getting late. You'd better tell them to head back to the farm. J 
Jehu wants us all to head back up to the farm. I like it here. Yeah, Ollie. We like it here. It's nice and cool. And the water is great. Yeah, Ollie, go away. You're bothering us. says it's time to go back to the farm. Besides, Elizabeth said she was bringing home some carrots today from Rebecca's. Last one home doesn't get any. Hey, that's not fair. Wait for me. Jehu, your dad and I decided you could take the wool over to Caesarea with Elizabeth. Mom, you're going to let me go? You're almost 13, young lady. It's time to seriously get your dowry together. Brother Melchizedek is asking a high price for your marriage to his son. Elizabeth is going to marry Abner? He's the son of a jackal. Hmm, that's no way to speak of your future brother-in-law. I like Abner. You'd like anybody. Stop your quarreling. The Romans are paying top dollar for wool. You know this lot will give you a good dowry. I'm not going to have a daughter of mine hanging around the house till she's an old maid. Now remember, go straight there. Don't stop. Abner has his own house, great pasture land, and a herd of over 200 sheep. He will make you a good husband. And you, son, it's not too long until you should also think of marriage. Dad, I'm only 10. Besides, I want to see the world, explore the Great Pyramids, climb the Himalayas, sail across the seas. I mean, dig for treasure in Solomon's mines. You've got your head up in the clouds, young man. Aw, Mom. exciting journeys you've had. Sleep well. You're so anxious to grow up. The Lord tells us, be anxious for nothing. Don't worry, son. You'll get your adventuring in someday. There's a watering hole up ahead, Jehu. What do you say we go over and take a rest? I'm sure the donkeys could use a drink. Uh, Dad said not to stop anywhere, but to go all the way to town before nightfall. A half hour isn't going to make any difference. Besides, Dad didn't realize how hot it was going to be today. A half hour rest won't make that big of a difference. Ollie, let's go ahead and take the turn off and we'll get some water. This wool is heavy. My feet are tired. I'm thirsty. Let's go. Hey, Jeremy. When we get to the watering hole, you're in charge of finding us some food. Nabat, if we're gonna get this stolen treasure back to Samaria, we're gonna need some new pack animals. Our nags are in sad shape. It's not good, Nabat. 
Even Sheba won't get up. We've pushed him too hard. I decide what we need. I is the leader. Anyone want to challenge that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? We need some new pack animals. Go scout for some. <laughs> the watering hole. How many people with them? Just two small children. Then they are ours for the taking. Come, Mad-Eye. We will make short work of them. There's no purpose in killing the children. We are thieves, not murderers. He is right. It is one thing to steal a man's property, quite another to steal the lives of his children. Come on, bring along the netting. We shall tie them up. By the time they are found, we'll be safely back in Samaria. <laughs> a while. Perhaps we should get going. Um, maybe we should. Where's Jeremy wandered off to? He went up into the hills over there, looking for roots. I don't believe they even grow here. I'll go get them. Maybe you should get the donkeys ready, Jehu. Okay. Come on, Ollie. Time to go back to work. Capture him, Medai. Throw the rope, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Quick, hide. The young girl is coming after him. Hey, how did you get all tangled up? <gasps> Going somewhere? <gasps> See how you like this bag over your head? No, please, no, <laughs> help me, Daddy! Be quiet. It's too late now. That's not too tight, is it, Ollie? Nope. Shouldn't Elizabeth be back by now? <laughs> Perhaps she fell. I better go look for her. Keep a lookout for me. How about a snack? your last rock, boy. Let me go! Let me go! Not the chance, little one. I'm afraid we need your donkeys. Our own horses have gone weary with carrying our spoils. Your spoils? You're nothing but a common thief. There's nothing noble about you. You're all common robbers and now you want to steal my donkeys? My father will have your hides. Such loud squealing from such a little flea. You better pray, little one that your father will be able to find you and your sister. Elizabeth? How could such a little flea really threaten the likes of me? When you're tied up in the net, then we'll see if you used to yell. You better pray that she'll be found before the jackals gather around. If the wind up on the plane, it will be too late. Best of me, two little fleas will soon be history. Better not get in our way, or we will throw you both away. We will do just as we please. You are both just little fleas. Let's pray that you'll be found. Take you, Ollie. I'll find you. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. It's 
scared, Jehu. It's all my fault. It's just as much my fault. Father put me in charge and I didn't follow his instructions. Now our donkeys are gone and all the wool from the harvest and we're hung up like bait. I feel so sad My heart just feels like crying I feel so sad Trapped with no way out It just can't end this way Not as long My heart just feels like crying I feel so sad Trapped with no way out It just can't end this way Not as long as I have failed It just can't end this way I must still try Anybody there who will help us? Oh, is anybody there? Can't you walk any faster? No! Mm -hmm. Put too much weight on me! Who said that? I did! What? Of course! A talking donkey? How come you can talk? You got some kind of magic? Donkeys aren't supposed to talk. God gave me a special gift. And I'll tell you something. What you're doing is wrong. Thou shalt not steal. I didn't steal. I'm just helping them out. They took me in when I was an orphan. Can your brothers talk too? Just me. I'm the only one humans can understand. So what's the deal? Why you gotta steal? Can't justify when you live a lie. There's a right and wrong, either good or bad. When you get caught, you'll really be sad. Look up! Look down, don't be a fool, look around, you gotta look up, look down, cause when you get caught, you're gonna go down, they'll lock you up and beat you bottom hard, so you better not take what isn't yours, it's not worth doing prison time, you surely pay for your life a crime, look up, look down, <laughs> Making all that racket. Can't you get this little fellow moving any faster, Medai? We're going as fast as we can. Alabar, pass me some of the Judean wine. My throat is parched. What are we gonna do with all these donkeys after we get back to Samaria? There's hardly any room at our hideout for all of us. 
How about some donkey steaks? <laughs> <laughs> the donkey and put it on my plate with some leeks and garlic it'd be wonderful to taste we could invite the neighbors for a real tasty dish and then we'd pick their pockets and we'd roll them in the ditch. That's mine! <laughs> Boy, I'm getting hungry. Do you hear my stomach growl? It's just because your appetite is bigger than a cow. Don't worry, Ollie. I'll do what I can to save you. Thanks, Mad Eye. But I'm not gonna wait around to find out. Where is she? Where's Elizabeth? Be time to shear the sheep by the time she shows up. Abner! Huh? What? Abner! Elizabeth was supposed to have gotten here last night. <laughs> have you heard anything from her? No, Father, I have not. Perhaps we should get a company of riders to help us go look for her. <sighs> yes, that is a good idea. I have heard something about a group of thieving Sumerians that have been about lately, and I hope they haven't gotten a hold of them. I'll get some of the neighbors. Why don't you go get the horses ready? Horses are getting weary. Perhaps we should go down to the watering hole and get them some water. Very well. It won't help us to press on any farther under these circumstances. Fifteen minutes should not make uh. a difference. <gasps> They're everywhere! Calm down! Uh. Watch out, Ollie! Yeah! Get him, Ollie! Oh, no! Guess he was thirsty. Ollie, behind you! Let go of him! You 
three, put together a stretcher, and we'll have to take him back to my farm. Benjamin, get some mud packs from the watering hole. That little fellow really saved your lives. We owe him our lives. I've never seen anyone so brave. He's gotta pull through. He's just gotta. Wake up! This is Elizabeth's wedding day! It's no use! I need a miracle! How can I get to Elizabeth's wedding when I can't even walk? your holy father does not know and care about. What? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Wait up, buddy. so hungry. Let me see if I have something. Here. Catch. Yeah. Good boy. Hmm. That's all I have. Medai, get those donkeys ready. I've made a deal with this Roman wine merchant. Nah. These donkeys will look very underfed, Nabad. Could it be that you do not feed them as <laughs> well as you feed yourself? Ha! Nonsense, Consul Gallius. They've had plenty to eat. Do you want them or not? We've been feeding them properly. Very well. Here is your price. Have your boy bring them to my stable. It'll be several weeks before the ship sails back to Italy. I'll see you about fattening them up. They'll need to be healthy to work in my vineyard. <laughs> Welcome to the family! Come along with three, there'll be lots to eat. I'm a generous man, you'll see. And a donkey who is much too thin will never work for me. There'll be carrots, leeks, and broccoli, pomegranate, scrapes, and wheat. For as long as you three work for me, you'll have lots of food to eat. Oh, lady!
Oh, well, at least we're gonna have enough to eat. I hate to say it, I miss I. I do too, and I really miss Jehu. Yeah, and Elizabeth. I wonder if we'll ever see them again. Your singing won't get you out of your trip to Italy. I don't think you'll ever see your families. How do you know? Then they don't call me Rupert the Renown for nothing. Rupert the Renown? But you're just a raven. Not just a raven. From my vantage point, there's not much I miss. I sure haven't heard of any rescue parties coming for you. Why? They don't even know. Where you are! Now just hold on a moment. Things aren't hopeless. We've got a family that loves and misses us. And we got each other. How can you just fly over here and tell us things are hopeless? Maybe you could just see a lot of things flying around like you do. But you sure don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, do you? Y'all haven't got a chance at being insane. Yes, sir. And y'all fate and call it chance. You're out of luck, your circumstance. You best forget your wishing. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, the clock's for 12. It's too late. You're over your heads. It's too late. It's just too late. To go in home within a month, you'll be in Rome. I'm afraid there's not a thing you can do. <laughs> I think they remember you. 
You just a memory, a worn out shoe. But now you've been replaced by someone new. Come on now. Just too late. Ah! It's too late. You're off to Italy. It's too late. Forget the family. It's too late. It's just too late. We'd better get going if we're going to find them. They've already been gone a month. They could be anywhere in the world by now. Most people think we have far too much to say. I guess they like us better when we keep our opinions to ourselves. Where are you from? I'm from Caesarea. Where are you from? We're from the city of Bethany. We're on our way to Caesarea to look for my brothers. Your brothers? Are they all white like you? No. My brothers are just regular donkeys. I'm the only white one in the bunch. Hmm, what would it be worth to you to find your brothers? <laughs> Why, do you know something? Oh, there's not much that remains unseen from my vantage point flying around as I do. The higher I go, the more I see. Unfortunately, you may all be too late. What do you mean, too late? You've seen them? What has happened to them? Will you show us where they are? Hey, now hold on, fella. We first have to discuss my reward. Do you expect me to tell you where your brothers are without some kind of a reward? Reward? That's robbery. I don't trust this bird. What is your reward? If it is nearly too late, then perhaps hmm? we should just try- Have you any sesame seeds? Just a little. Oh, bring it here! Hold on. How do we know you're really gonna help us? I guess you'll just have to trust mm. me. 
How many do you want? The whole bag! The whole bag? You're certainly being greedy. Nonetheless, that's my price. How badly do you want to see your brothers? Hey, Bird, the information. You got what you wanted. Now, tell me where my brothers are. They were bought by Council Gallius. And they're headed to his wine press in Italy. Italy? They're at a stall near the port, not too far from King Agrippa's palace. They're going to be shipped out today or tomorrow. Can't you take us to them? Oh, you land creatures are much too slow. I'll tell them you're coming. That'll make them very happy. Thanks for the sesame seeds. It sounds like we best hurry. It's a long way to Caesarea. Get you. Come on. Oh, not so hard. Oh, take it easy. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> Just hold on. Everything will be okay. Boy, little fella, you should put on some weight. Did you already eat all those sesame seeds? Oh, yeah. Oh. No wonder you're sick. Go ahead. Hop on my back. Come on. I'll give you a ride to see Swim. Careful, Rupert! Uh, uh. Come on, little fellow. Let me give you a hand. Next time, you should eat a little less. want to be my friends, then don't be my friends. I'll just have to take you to my vineyard in chains. We'll see how agreeable you'll all be then. Fetch me my leg irons for these stubborn donkeys. Let's see how they like traveling in chains. <laughs> I tried to be nice, but that didn't work. So you'll just have to suffer with chains around your hooves. I fed you with carrots and leeks every day, but now all you have to eat is all water and hay. Chains, chains, chains. Things were better before. Chains, chains, chains. Why do you make me so sore? Chains, chains, chains. I tried to be nice. Chains, chains, chains. Now you better think twice. Chains? This Gallius must be a really harsh master. We gotta try to get them back before the boat sails in the morning. Do you have a plan? Hmm. No, but maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of one.
Christmas year. like we might have to row our way back in. Captain Maximilian, what a rogue has stolen my donkeys? Uh, I know not what you speak. Stolen donkeys? Are they not still in the baggage hold? Look at these. What do you call this? When I catch up with these animals, they'll be sorry. No! Captain, it would be best if you put it into the harbor. Otherwise, I fear you'll lose your boat. And how many sea voyages have you been on? This is my first one, but I had a vision. You come to warn me of a vision? What are you, a soothsayer? He is the Hebrew prophet Paul formerly Saul of Tarsus. Perhaps you should listen to him. Nonsense! Now, both of you, get below! Lower the jib! Bring the mainsail down to half-mast! Oh, it's all right. These feathers are sort of like a rain jacket. 
Oh, we better start bailing out this water or we'll all end up at the bottom of the ocean. I'm really hungry. I'm starving. We're all hungry, but until we get to land, I don't think we're going to have anything to eat but seaweed. You mean this stuff is edible? Sure. It probably doesn't even taste so bad. Hmm. <sighs> Thirsty. Here, strap yourselves in, everybody, or we'll be eating our next meal in Neptune's kitchen. Neptune's kitchen? Where's that? He means on the bottom of the ocean. Oh no! I'm much too young to die! Oh no! I'm far too wet to fly! It could be a lot worse, Rupert. There could be a giant octopus waiting to eat us. Now it's very important that no one wanders off. If we stay together, we can watch out for one another. I thought you were going to tell us about the dolphin exploits. You please! Tell us, tell us! We want to know! Very well! <sighs> uh, okay, here we go.
a dolphin! <sighs> hey, over here! Help us! Hey! Can you help us? We're stuck out here! Wow! There's so many of you! You're a funny-looking human. You talk like a human, but you sure don't look like one. He's not, but I am. Ollie's a donkey, a talking donkey. Well, I can see that you are a human boy. But how can I possibly save all of you? I'm so small myself. Well, maybe we can all paddle. Oh, I can navigate. My feathers are almost completely dry. I can fly up ahead and see if I can spot an island. I'm really too small to be pulling such a big boat. It doesn't matter if you're big or small. You just gotta have faith and you can do it.
try to swim over to the boat. I'm gonna try and get Aesop free. friends that God has sent us from the sea. Come sit down, we have a giant feast. Where are we, 
Hui. You are on the island of brotherly love, Agape Island. Here, everyone loves one another and treat even the animals kindly. Well, that's great, but how do we get back to Bethany? Well, every few months, trading ships come for our fine sponges and hand-strung pearl necklaces. So next time they come, we'll make sure you get back home safely. But now, it is time for the party. Yama, love one another. Uh-huh, yo, yeah. uh-huh. I like it here. Everybody, look! I think that's the ship! We'll be going home soon! Oh, do you really want to go? This place is sort of what I expected heaven to be like. I could stay here forever. Yeah, me too. We have to think of Jehu. He needs his mom and dad. We can't expect him to break their hearts forever. Think of how they must feel. I'm sure by now they probably think he's dead. Besides, it will be different now. We know how to get along and love each other, right? Yeah, you know, as long as we do love each other, I suppose it doesn't matter where we live. It's like we carry a little bit of heaven in our hearts. Bye-bye. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for the hospitality. Yeah, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Maybe I'll be captain of my own ship someday. Yeah, and I'll be the first mate. Hey, look, it's our dolphin friends. They've come to see us off. <laughs> Hi, Apollo. Thanks for bringing us to yeah. this island. We had the greatest time. Hey, Apollo. Goodbye. Thanks for all your help. Well, we may be going home, Ollie, but this is just the start of our adventures. Goodbye, everybody!